What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters. Christian Asher, Zian Sai, Christian Simpson, JPC2, Ace Attorney Fan 621, Elunar, Joseph Vega, Cryptic Circus, Donald Fuller, Wet Dream JK, Kaiser Sani, Joe Hardy, Cameron Hofstra, Plague Monk 42, Robert Wachtel, Tarek Drux, Dylan Gibson, Alex Soley, Curtis Pewter, Iron Metallica, Miracle, Joshua Webb, Brianna, OXL, Benjamin Sapp, Alpha X Shroom, Jordan Jardine, Haley Mitchell, Leon Lungi, Nick, and hmm, now how did I get here? And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producer, The Anime Hybrid. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to... They took away this man's gun recently. Joe are you seriously doing this? God. Yep. No! <laughs> <laughs> he typed it twice! <laughs> I think we've all had our run-ins with wrong numbers. In the previous video, we actually talked about telemarketers using your number, which should be illegal, but they're able to do it anyway somehow. I think the, the number spoofing is just like a random, like, I mean, I think it just, it takes an area code that's local to their calling and just makes a random number show up, so. I mean, uh, but to me, that's nonsense, because. Dude, my phone started doing this really legit thing. I don't know if your guys' phone does this, but <clears throat> uh, you have an iPhone, so I'd, I'm probably not, but uh, check this shit out. It's. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I think it's a shots fired right now. Tim there, Cook's going to bust through the door and beat <gasps> the crap out of you right now. Well, apparently it deletes them after a minute, but it, it's actually had numbers pop up in my history. And uh, it's just like a suspected spam, so call blocked, basically. Sometimes mine will oh, say potential mine, spam. Yeah. Mine, uh, I've had spam risk, unknown, spam risk, account services, and uh, where's the other one right here? Oh, no, that's a Discord call. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that one was like, I ain't seen that one before. Yeah, but mostly it's unknown spam risk or, you know, just some some innocuous thing. But I've somehow got away with not answering a spam call or, like, really seeing much of any on my phone since we were still doing the podcast at the studio. So. I, I remember uh, Cat Williams had an awesome bit about wrong numbers. He's like, if you if you dial a wrong number in a black neighborhood, they're just like, who the hell is calling, the mor calling here at 3 a.m. in the morning? Whereas, uh, you know, it's like you call away and it's like, hello? Oh, I'm sorry, there's no Shaquita here. Oh, no, it's a six, not a seven. Well, if it's not the right number, call me back. We'll figure this out. Like, that's not how that works. That Like, most of the time when I get a wrong number, I'm just like, hello? And ever I hear the like the little click thing, you know, it's like taking you over into the system. It's just like, oh, nope. I've had like, hello? Hey, is John there? Uh, sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I keep, uh, <laughs> every now and again I get one. It's like, hello, is Penelope there? I'm like, no, there's no Penelope here. Are you sure? Can you check for me? I'm like, I've had this number now for the last three years of my life. No one named Penelope has ever owned this device. I'm sorry. I don't even know a Penelope in real life. They're like, thank you very much. They're trying so hard to speak proper English that they are. That it sounds like they're trying to talk through a large set of dentures. But Dude. this one time I did have this girl. I was like, uh, I was like, hello. It's like, hey, it's blah there. I can't remember what she said. It's like, no, I think you have the wrong number. And she's like, no, uh, -uh. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, no, no, let me talk to blah. And I'm like, no, nah, dude, seriously, this is Nick. Like, you have the wrong number. She's like, right, okay, I don't believe you, but okay. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Imagine her surprise. She looks, she's like, 
Oh, that was the wrong number. Oh. I had a woman leaving like, me voicemails convinced that uh, I was the number for like a water heater repair business. And like my name is my name is on my voicemail message. She'd be like, she and then she'd be like, "Hey, Rick, or something like that. I'm uh, having trouble with my water heater. Please call me back." And it's like, how do you get like that name out of? This is Micah. Please leave me a message. <laughs> she's probably not listening. She's probably just yeah. She's like, oh, I didn't pick up. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him a message. And then uh, I didn't even realize it's like, this I is Micah. I, I didn't call her back. Of course you wouldn't. <clears throat> it's probably like, you guys quit that. Quit that right now. Quit that. But it would, <laughs> but it would do, like, it was semi-regularly. It would be like a couple days in a row and then nothing for like months. And then like, it, she'd be back. It's like, I, this woman just wears out water heaters like nobody else. I'm surprised it hasn't like literally blown out the top of her house like freaking uh flubber holy heck uh, that's actually a real thing that can happen if your hot water if your water oh, yeah, heater, they, they did a mythbusters they shot yeah. up through like three stories or yes something. went all the way through yeah that's ridiculous that would be crazy to see adam savage has possessed my water heater help boom he's driving down the street and somebody's water heater blows out the top of their house just be like, what the fuck? you'd think it was a missile or something Adam Savage is like riding on top of it, like in. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, was that Doctor Strange Love? Yeah, Doctor Strange Love, riding Slim Pickens, riding in the nuclear bomb, <laughs> hitting it with his hat. But anyways, I think we're fairly off topic yeah. at this point. Uh, so right we're where we're about, supposed to be. Talk about the wrong numbers that we've received. Yes, and then yeah. we got on hot water heaters that explode. Yeah, to just yeah. yeah, shit happens. That's how it goes. Anyway, just trying to steer it in a direction. Yeah, the odd one's <clears> out. Uh, we actually did one here recently by Odd Ones Out, and everyone, there was a lot of people making this request for us to watch this one. Wrong numbers. So, I guess let's give it a watch. See what happens. Hello? Uh, okay. It's for you, James. Hey, James. This is James from the future. Just wanted to give you a call and let you know that... Puberty can be tough, but... You can get through it. So I just wanted to let you know that everything's going to be okay and I love you. You got the wrong number. Fair enough. I grew up in a generation where smartphones were a new thing and everyone in my class had one except for me. My parents never got me one because they didn't want me to access the internet on a device that could fit in my pocket because they were super strict and didn't want me looking at internet stuff. Which backfired horribly. So they never gave me a smartphone. In fact, I didn't even get my first cell phone until I was 16 years old. Now, as an adult who uses <clears throat> a cell phone, cell phone every day, I, college. I, how... I got a cell phone like my second to last year in high school. And it was a little flip phone. And I liked it, but I'll be damned if the thing you know, was you know, easy to break. Ugh. I was on my way to college, and my mom's like, I guess you need a cell phone in case anything happens so you can call somebody. And I was like, yeah, kind of. <clears throat> I remember that. That was back when Altel was still a thing. Then I had a flip phone until two, three years ago. <clears throat> I, was, I finally got a smartphone. I had the little <laughs> Samsung Intensity oh, 2 with yeah. the keyboard. The little, the little I, flip out one. I had, I had that for a long time until I finally broke down and got a smartphone. I had a Razor for a long time, and I was... Already working at the music store and still had the razor. And people were like, "Holy shit, you have a razor!" So I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah. Now they got the razor. The razor flip phones are back. Now they're smartphones. It's like, wow, damn, that's awesome. Makes me want to get one, but I, I'm in the iPhone pool now. It's hard to break I this. Had, I think. No. I just trying to remember when when I had theirs. I just remember people being like, "That's crazy, you still have one of those." And I'm like, "Yeah." It works as then long as it I, makes uh, the calls. Smashed it on the ground. <laughs> At one point, because somebody made me really mad, so... As you do. Yeah. Much like Quinn. Quinn literally removing their phone from their their safety case, take, going down two flights of stairs, going out into the front driveway, for, and just, like, football spiking it into the concrete. Except for Wait, Quinn no wasn't Wait, even why? mad. Quinn just did that. <laughs> yeah, Quinn just did that because it's Quinn. That, uh, but the... Uh, 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 I had the same reaction. Didn't Quinn have to go get a new phone after that? 
Quinn was just like, I don't want a new phone. I just don't want to talk to anybody anymore. No, I understand that. No, I understand that too. And I'm just like, well, there's better ways to do it. You could sell it, make the money off of it, and that way you have like extra amount of dollars. You don't got to football spike it. That's true. Yeah, but Quinn was just like, I don't care. I just don't care. I just want to. I just want to be done with it. And I'm like, all right. I go out there. I grab the phone off the ground, and I'm like, actually, the only thing broken on here is the screen. I can actually fix this. And I did. I went, bought the screen replacement thing. Uh, only thing I had to do was I had to dremel the top part of it back a little bit because like the top it. part of it had caved in where Quinn had uh, knocked it. So I was just like, okay, got it back even, put the new screen in, worked like a charm, no problems. And I was like, okay, Quinn, now what are you going to do with this phone? Not smash it. Smash it. No. And, and, there, and I'm just like, good. Okay, moving on. I survived for 16 years without one. I think when I was younger, if I was ever in a situation where I needed to call my parents, I would just ask the nearest person if I could borrow their phone. Now, if there's any parents watching this who haven't given their children a cell phone yet, take it from a guy on the internet with no children. You should get them one. It doesn't have to be a smart one, you can just give them your standard drug dealer phone, but you should at least give them a cell phone in case there's an emergency and they need to call you or the police. The only downside I can think of giving your child a phone is they'll end up spending too much time on it, so you should just turn off their service from time to time. I agree. I when I Bold of you to assume I'd ever call the police my for help. High school, I got my very first cell No, you call your phone, family. No, I shoot my way out. Cosmos 2. I, yes. I didn't grow up in the 90s. That Everyone else had iPhones, but I was the only one with a, flip, with a phone that had a keyboard on it. And with Me that too, cell James. phone, I've had a couple of incidences where sometimes a random person would call me <sighs> thinking I was someone else and then wouldn't admit they're wrong. And that's how you segue into the theme of this month's video. This first story happened when I was working at Suabway. That's right, hey. another Suabway story. Hashtag Suabway 4. It wasn't good enough to be in the other three. So, it was five minutes until closing, and we get a phone call on the Suabway phone. I pick it up and say, uh, Thank you for calling Suabway. How may I help you? I was supposed to say, This is James. How may I help you? But I wasn't about to tell this random stranger my name. <laughs> Idiot. Anyway, the other person on the line said, Hey, what time do you guys close? In five minutes. Is it alright if I show up late? I just need gas. And being the good employee that I was, I was totally willing to make this guy's sandwich over the phone, let him pick it up after we closed, and then I wouldn't ring him up and just pocket the money. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. That's a crime. Please don't sue me. So I said, <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. What kind of sandwich do you want? And he said, I just need gas. Oh, don't worry, sir. This sandwich will give you plenty of gas. Uh, I, I mean, do you want chips or something? No, he said. I just need gas. I was a little confused. Okay, yes. So you you'll get gas. gas then are you going to stop by and pick up a sandwich? And he said, I don't want a sandwich. And then it hit me. Even though the first thing I ever said to this guy was, thank you for calling Suabway, I think he thought he was talking to a gas station. So I said, sir, this is a Suabway? Oh. <laughs> and I never got the chance to tell him that gas pumps don't close. This next story happened when I was at home and I got a call from a number I didn't recognize. Now, I've had friends tell me that they don't answer the phone to any number they don't recognize. But my anxiety won't let me do that. What if it's your bank calling saying your account got hacked? What if it's your grandma? Because why would you have her saved in your phone? Or what if it's your Nigerian uncle who wants my to give you this collection me, I'm gonna be of gold bars out. and needs your information for a... Do what? So if my grandmas are calling me, I'm going to be creeped out. Because they're both dead? It, if my one grandma was calling me, I'd be creeped out. But if my grandfathers were calling me, I'd be creeped out. Cause if any of my dead. grandparents are calling me, I'm going to be creeped out. <laughs> The only one I wouldn't be creeped out by is my grandma on my dad's side. She's the only one still alive. Yeah, I don't have grandparents anymore, unfortunately. Mm. Sorry, dude. It happens. Wire transfer. You just never know, so I always pick up the phone. So I answered it, and it was this woman asking for a Lawrence. And I said, oh, I'm not... Th that's... You have the wrong number. And she goes, isn't this 416295? That's obviously not a real number, so don't try calling it. And I said, no, this is 416293. 
because that's my phone number. Again, that's not actually a valid phone number, so please don't call it. And she goes, three? I don't think I pressed three. And I don't know what to say to this woman because Just my number <laughs> is 416293. It's really not. It's but not she doesn't think she pushed three. So I don't know how she's talking to me right now. Unless she did. So I said, well, obviously you did. And then I made a comic about the whole situation because I thought the internet would think it was funny. This next story happened not too long ago. I got a call from a number I didn't recognize at 9.30 in the morning, and I was lying in my bed, asleep. And most people would agree that you're supposed to be awake and productive at 9.30. And I didn't want whoever this stranger nope. was thinking I'm lazy. Disagree. So I had to answer the phone with my best, I've been awake for several hours voice. <laughs> Hello? You're going to have to come quickly! Timmy fell down to well, Vance! Uh... Jack? Uh, what? I said you're going to have to come quickly because Timmy fell down to well, Vance! I could tell it was a woman on the phone, but it was either her <laughs> accent or the fucking buggy or Sean, what the hell, up. my dude? I could awesome. not understand anything she was saying. You have to go on here, Timmy, don't fall down to well! Which was Vance. So, I did not have a lot to go off of. I said, I think you have the wrong number. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> well, I should probably get the day started, I thought, as I went back to sleep. But then immediately, I got a call from the same number. And I thought, what okay, the fuck is that maybe pillow? if this person is calling again, even after Hold I explicitly up. told her she had the wrong number, maybe it's not a wrong number after all. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe it's an emergency. So maybe, mm, talk to me. Okay. I can't understand anything you're saying. So then this woman must have handed the phone to her friend because a different voice started talking and I could actually understand her and I'll never forget what she said, which was, Vance, no one thinks that you're funny. And even though I'm not Vance, that kind of hurt. So I stated the obvious, which was, yes, I am. <laughs> and also, I'm not Vance. And she said, no, Lance. So this whole time, these two have been looking for a Lance. So I told this woman, I'm not Lance either. And she said, well, this is the number they gave me. Okay, if she had said it like, oh, I'm sorry. This is the number they gave me. I didn't mean to call you, stranger. Also, I do think you're funny and enjoy your videos. Then that would have been totally fine. She's just shifting the blame to someone else. But instead, she sounded so condescending, like I was wasting her time. Well, this is the number they gave me, and they can't be wrong, so you must be the real Lance. So I said, well, they must have given it to you wrong. Look, I'm too tired to be polite. But then... She hung up on me. Like this woman just basically called a random person, said, you're not funny, and then hung up. So I decided to call her back and say, <laughs> I just found the James real leave Lance. It be, He's man. the funniest guy I ever met, and he told me he doesn't give his phone number out to root pieces of shit. I'm just kidding on that last part. I thought about doing it, but then I went back to sleep. I didn't. And then As you do, there's the higher priorities. My phone number, and I changed it. And whoever has my old number is probably getting a lot of calls from strangers and people I went to high school with. Sorry about that. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey! I haven't done an card in a while, <laughs> which Jackie will probably boy! be my next new catchphrase. If you didn't know, I wrote a book and you can buy it, buy my book. But if buying things online isn't your style, it's also available at Barnes & Noble or any other local bookstore. Be sure to check it out in a library. And remember to give it back. Thanks for watching, everyone. Honestly, thank you for being so patient. I wish I didn't have to go a whole month between posting, but I hope this was worth the wait. Thank you to Rushlight Invader for animating some segments. If any animation looked at all decent, that was him doing it, not me. Thank you to Anti Darkheart for making the backgrounds, and also thanks to Pantless Pajamas and Toonsy for doing the coloring. 
And also thanks to Jacksepticeye for voicing one of the characters. The character was supposed to have an accent, and I was like, dude, you're perfect for this. Do you wanna do you wanna voice a character? And he was like, yes. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. I'm going to VidCon Australia now, so I'll let you know how that went when I get back. I'll see you all later and wear your seatbelt. I like the someone will die of fun, <laughs> like fan art. Of uh, fun? <laughs> With uh, uh, Boy in a Band. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, Boy in a Band, I mean. Also, someone will die of fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, Over. you've definitely made it on YouTube when you get one of the big gaming boys to do something in your video. Well, of course. Well, I mean, he's kind of one of the big boys right now on YouTube as well right now. I mean, yeah. 15 and a half million subscribers. Wow. Yeah. And honestly, James is just hilarious. James is just a hilarious person. And, you know, for him and for Jack to come along and just be like, hey, I'll do a voice in your video. Oh, you'll do a show in your video? Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's like, <laughs> what? And he's like, all right, all right, James, what's my inspiration for this scene? It's like, you're looking for a guy named Lance. Right, looking for a guy named Lance. But you think, but you say his name like it's Vance. Right, say his name like Vance, although his name is Lance. Am I stupid? Yes, perfect. <laughs> it's like how th it's like how thick do you want my accent? It's like uh, how thick do I want? It's like he's like was that too much? Because I can pull it back a little I, bit. I my head cannon for this conversation and like what he asked him for. He's like just act like there's an emergency of some kind and Jack accepts God by himself. Just like Timmy fell out in the well, Vince. <laughs> 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 I guarantee you the people that were calling like him had, had, the, had like the heavy, thick southern accent, it, it, just like talking way too fast. It, it's like, you're not that funny, Lance. You're not that funny, Lance. It's like, wait. What? No one thinks you're funny, Lance. No one thinks you're funny, Lance. Yeah. But instead, when you do it with a British or with a British or uh, it, Irish accent, it takes on a whole new level of just like, nobody takes your funny months. It's... It reminds me of uh, the the phony calls about Weird Al. Oh like, man, uh, which is parroting waterfalls. It's like he gets a kick each time he makes a collect call to some guy he doesn't know who lives in Japan, and then you hear like a Japanese guy just yelling over the phone in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. I always I had a parody version of Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. I hate it when I get hit straight in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me roll on the ground, groaning in pain. <laughs> Gosh. Ugh. So yeah, I wrong numbers. I've I've had my fair experience with them. I the like I said, the longest conversation I had with someone about it was the time someone called me at like three a.m. in the morning, and they were just like they were just like so angry. Just so angry with me for no reason other than the fact that they thought I was trying to call them when I clearly wasn't. Because how can I call someone if I'm asleep? Unless I'm sleep calling people. In which if that if if I've probably done... don't start whatever it is and fucking uh, like got the number wrong because it was three in the morning and then fucking dialed it wrong trying to call it back to yell at them. I'd just be like, hey, meet me in the little hills parking lot. We'll fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you. Say, I could see you saying that's that. too far away from here. I'd just be like, Kmart parking lot. I'd be like, that's, well, that's closer now, to you. You know what I do? I, I, you know what I do? I'd just be like, all right, all right. Where, where you want to meet at? Where you want to meet at, man? He's like, like meet me at like meet me at the Walmart. And I was like, which one? There's like four around where I live. It's like, oh, uh, fucking. All right. Uh, how about the how about the Sonic? It's like. There's like five or six Sonics too, man. You're gonna have to be more. Cause... I'll be like, meet me behind the Kmart. I'm gonna bury you in one of those big ass potholes. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> those friggin' potholes back there, dude. Those don't are ever drive behind the Kmart. That's well, yeah. Unless you want to lose well, your car. That's why they said the, the the old the old hills parking lot because there's a there's a carnival there right now. So I'm gonna throw them off the Ferris wheel. Hell yeah. <laughs> me, I'd be like, I'd be like, all right. You know where you can meet me? Meet me in the middle of the highway. And and show up with a blindfold on. All right, thanks. Bye. And I'll just I just won't show up. A carnival during a pandemic with rides that multiple times pass you through the same air that the person in front of. I didn't say it was a good carnival. No, no, I just no. Said it was carnival. You know, it, actually, if if I were to go back into the past and initiate a fight I, with somebody, I'd just be like, "All right, you know where you can meet me? Top floor of the World Trade Center, September eleventh, two thousand one. Do it." 
And then it'll just be like, all right, you think I'm going to forget, but I'll be there. Oh, I'm counting on it. All right, sort that out. Yeah. Yipes. That's from something. That's Family Guy. Okay. It is. I <laughs> uh, hated to copy that, but yeah. So, overall, wrong numbers, it, they suck, but eh, it's part of life, I guess. So, anyway, if y'all uh, enjoyed the video, be sure to check out the original. Check out uh, James's channel by clicking the link in the title of the video. And also, if you want to check out more from us, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I am Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. Rip and tear until it is done.